Hello everybody, JT here. Today I'm gonna make this video to show you how you can do this pocket and this radius here and this radius on top here. It's uh, pretty simple. This one down here you just do as a contour, but this one up here since we don't buy any special tool to cut this, we're gonna yield a ball end mill to surface in this. And of course, this one is just flat end mill to cut this uh, pocket out with volume mill though. So today I'm gonna show you how you do volume mill with this. Uh, as you can see, Nowadays, people use volume mill to rough out material a lot because it's a very good tool pass, uh, good technology. It's side mill, you can go all the way deep. Uh, I don't know if I show you last time. I think last time we just did like a contour. But, well, let's get to this video so you, I can show you how volume mill work and what to do, what setup you uh, should choose and let rough this out and finish the pocket so as you can see i still have a half in end mill here and i'll create another one here just a ball end mill a quarter in ball end mill because this radius is an eight this one is an eight this radius is a point three so that half in end mill should be good. All right, let's get some geometry out. Extract geometry. Let's delete this one. I always want it look lean when I make the program. So less geometry and. And it's easier for me to see what I am doing, what, so it's not like crowded in there, basically. All right, let's do this one first. You pull the half in down, so you select volume mill. Fees, let's assume this one aluminum, so let's do 5,000. Whatever feet and speed you want, you can put in here with you want to let do small get this one small pocket we have a big tool so let do 50 go one pass down okay over here is important right because since this is the rough operation so you want to leave material for finish and i always leave about ten thousand for the side and the bottom the z and then the high feed rate in this one small we can do this to 50 is fine but let's say if you have a big pocket or you rough the outside here you can go this one for like 500 if you want to but let's do this one 250 ignore stock because we use 2d geometry so we always i always use this and let's see our zero the Z0 is on top of here, so we go into start from 0, and of course the bottom of that is 0.4, and one pass. Okay, so this is another thing that I need you to pay attention to, helix. So it's going to helix down at the feet rate of 50, and the angle at the three degree angle i usually don't do more than 15 because you know like smaller angle that means it work better for the two so i usually do five or if i hard harder material i can do three but i do five so and of course climb meal cooler and everything should be there for right and in this tab and this one right here since we leave 10,000 material I can put here 5 I don't want to put more than 10 here but I don't want to put too small so 5 I think is good enough 
everything else is just default and then you just select the geometry click do it and there you go it helix down and then it's gonna sign me a rough all this out all right the same with this tool we go into change the process to offset fit and speed the same thing you you put in whatever you want of course this is finite pass so we all want this zero and spring pass is one and all those should be the same nothing really just default just pay attention to this sometimes it's select rough but since we have this one at a finite two pass we don't want rough torrent we want finished torrent because when you look at here rough torrent is three so it may be maybe it's still good but let's say somehow you have this one 10 that's mean it can cut over here 10 or, or over this side 10 so just pay attention to that and then by part finite torrent is only a 10 which is plenty of good that's why we select finished torrent here and again select geometry click to it and there you go you have a finite two pass there so we have rough we have finite all right next one well, let's do this you drag this down and you contour because it the same speed and feet whatever you want this one I will demonstrate at a finite one pass one two pass only so I take all this to zero finite spring pass is one and since we have a zero over here and this one half enough or you can just pick it there you go you know that's a half in and then end at zero so we're gonna put point six there so it above the two i mean the part a little bit and you want just one all the way one all the way down so just one pass the same check this finish good climb you good everything else should be there far and just select this of course you have to pick the right direction out here and go this way for climb meal and there you go you have it let render it okay so now it's rough okay there you go this look good to me okay next one is since we don't have a special tool to cut this we're gonna yield the far end mill to surface this and again this one it just demonstrates that finite pass you don't have to rough or anything of course you before going to here of course you have to remove all those material out and then we maybe next video I will do a volume meal to rub all this material out first and then uh, as you can look back to this video for the finished pass but today we just do this at the finished two pass only so first you select that one right uh, I don't know clear pick again surface and of course in here you do surface flow cut for this finite two pass speed and feed the same we don't leave material anything step over if you want good finite two pass and then you go smaller but of course go smaller does mean you gonna take a long time usually I go about five to ten thousand for finite depend on how good you know they want it to be finite 
everything now is clear and now usually I put here a thousand and torn I put five ten or you can put a ten in here but I don't think anybody will well I would say it depend on the part that you might if you make a mole part and then you want a good finish but this one is just like this good enough torn again finish back and forth okay uh, all this you can choose whatever you want top down that means it work from here down right bottom up that means work from here up everything else is default and then click do it there you go you have a surface to pass 3d surface and look good as you can see in here when you render look like this that's mean it's look good it cut right on the, the with the model all right so that's easy to pass 3d pocket with the volume meal fill it the pocket with the pocket and then bottom radius here with a contour upper radius here with a 3D uh, surface in and that should be well that should be all for this video and then maybe the next video I will create a, a volume meal to pass to rough all this out so you can understand a little bit more about volume meal next time alright see you guys next time then uh, Chase is out. Bye.